So how many of you have heard about essential oils? I don't know how essential they are, but chances are if you get invited to a party from a friend that you haven't seen in 20 years, you're about to hear about essential oils. I don't know much about them, but I know they're expensive. I thought it'd be kind of fun to try to make it myself. I don't know how to make it myself, but I'm gonna try. Wintergreen oil is supposed to have an anti-inflammatory effect. And it smells kind of good. And it grows all over where I'm from. All this is wintergreen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a bunch of wintergreen and see how easy it is to get the oil from it. Wintergreen berries. Wintergreen berry right from the source. That's potent. So we got a whole bunch of wintergreen. And we're gonna find out how much oil is in there. Question is, how do you get oil out of something like this? Now I'm told that if you use a still, you can get the oil out. Problem is, I don't have a still because I am not an alcoholic. But my dad, has a pressure cooker, and we might be able to get that to work the same way. Right here, there's a pressure cooker. So we've got our winter green and our pressure cooker. Wintergreen's inside there getting steamed. The steam comes up this little hole, down the hose, swirls around in the ice water where the steam then condenses and then drips down into my collection unit. Now I have a syringe here to try to isolate the surface area. Oil rises, but I don't want to collect it off of a big surface area, so if I can keep that higher level to a small surface area, it should be easier to get the oil, if there is any. It doesn't smell as good as you think it would. So the theory was that as the steam ran through the syringe, any and all oil would end up on top. Where's the oil? Apparently it is not that easy to get oil out of these leaves. So if you want essential oils, probably better to just buy it. It's not a total loss, however, because the water that we steam through is infused with winter green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump that right into my diffuser and skip the oil. Fresh winter green water. Well, in the end, it was probably 99% failure, but we still had 1% success. And it was kind of fun to do. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Still doesn't smell as good as the one.